What's going on my little piglets? It's your BFF Pork Chop here and I'm coming at you with entry number 14 of the June Vlog Challenge. So that this makes it June 14th, 2019. As you can see, I'm in my car. I got my, my piece of shit car back from, uh, <laughs> from the roommate, Casey. Uh, she's actually right behind me. She actually just got her car fixed. And uh, so hold on, let me adjust this real quick. There we go, that's a little bit better. A little bit better. So she just got her car fixed. So I get mine back. Hopefully hers is, is up, to, up to par. The uh, radiator apparently was like corroding away. So they had to get a new radiator for her car. Um, but had to do the vlog, the first vlog that I've had the opportunity to do in my car. I'm totally doing it in my car. So no questions will be answered. So it's mostly just me just talking to y'all. And I just hope that you guys are going to have a great weekend ahead of you. It's Friday, so I hope you guys have something fun planned. Uh, me, I'm going to go to my, uh, my, not my sister's, my niece's softball game, coach pitch game, actually. And then um, the wife and I are going to do some uh, some house housekeeping by uh, deep cleaning the house and stuff tonight. And uh, it may not sound fun, but to me it is. And I'm just really excited about actually cleaning the house. So, also, I uh, worked my last day at, at uh, now I can say, Sooner Wholesale. Um, I was going to wait and not say the name until I was out. But, uh, yeah, Sooner Wholesale here in Amarillo. Um, today was my last day. And uh, it was actually kind of weird because not only was the GM not there when I got back from my route. I had to go to Clovis today. Um, but not only was the GM not there when I got back from my route, but like nobody said bye or thank you or, or really anything. And I was just kind of like, really? I've been here for seven months. I didn't quit. I put in my two weeks. Uh, I missed only one day of work and that was to go to Grandma Christie's funeral. And I've worked every single day, never called in sick. Uh, the, the worst I've ever been late was 10 minutes and the earliest I've been I think was five minutes early one time So I'm like I was a good employee um, And when I walked in they informed me that the uh, GM wanted me to uh, sign my um, oh, What do you call it the um, The changing of position Form I think is what it was called. I can't remember on the top of my head but it was pretty much a, uh, you know, my end of employment for Sooner Wholesale. And uh, so he wrote down, you know, Colin Mosley's last day was today. And uh, had to write down the, uh, the last day. And then at the bottom, he gave me a little evaluation. And it was like, uh, like my, my work ethic was good. My, nepo not my nepotism, my punctuality was good good which that was kind of a lie um my uh um dependability was fantastic and then um he left my innovative blank and there were two check boxes that said, uh would you reconsider hiring rehiring this employee and he left that blank as well so I don't know if he was in a hurry or if he's just trying to send me a message. I don't know. Like I just, I, I just took it with a grain of salt, but I just thought that was kind of funny to say the least. And uh, regardless of if it was uh, a thing or not, I still thought that it was, it was kind of funny because um, it was like innovative, nothing. So that being said, I, took the liberty and helped myself um, back before there were sooner wholesale United supermarkets used to uh, own that uh, warehouse and so they, they used to be called United wholesaler at one point or actually uh, I don't even think it was affiliated with the supermarket I think it was just the name but I don't know shows how much I pay attention to the history lessons but <laughs> um, back when they were united they had a uh, partnership with uh, Texas Tech Athletics and I am not a Texas Tech fan, to say the least. I, I do not like Texas Tech. Uh, being in the Texas Panhandle uh, and Texas Tech being uh, the, the main college that everybody roots for here, it makes me sit to my stomach when I see TT on everybody. But there are these, these plush footballs that they just have boxes and boxes and boxes of these plush footballs. 
and um, at one point the GM just said help yourself just just take take as many as you want so I you know would take like a couple at a time three or four at a time because um, my dogs love them my dogs I, my dogs freaking love Chandler especially freaks out whenever I give him one of these footballs but uh, anyway to say uh, to, that being said um, yesterday I grabbed a full box of 36 footballs out of the uh, the attic grabbed a whole box walked out with it nobody said a word and then um, today once again I walked out with another box of 36 of those footballs. <laughs> so I have, if you if you're not a math math magician or mathematician, I know it's math mathematician, but um, that's 72 footballs. And my wife did the math, and that's pretty much 24 footballs per dog that they can have for fun. So I I got them footballs, and also I was thinking about doing like a. Um, Kind of like if you, if any of y'all played the, the PlayStation 4 version of uh, Spider-Man, the uh, the PlayStation exclusive game Spider-Man, um, he has these. Uh, oh dang! Give me a second. Hi, that's my crotch. <laughs> um, but uh, <laughs> that bump just didn't like me. Um, but during the game, uh, during the game, you you go around the city and you find these uh, backpacks and the backpacks will have like a like a spider-man plush like a, a bus ticket like it's just you know just it's just a side mission for you to do to collect all the stuffs and um, so I was thinking about doing that in the city of Amarillo just like hiding these Texas Tech footballs like all over the city and see if anybody could find them <laughs> there's 72 of them so I, I could have at least 72 of them just scattered all around the uh, the place, like all over the town. So that'd be kind of funny. Oh, a garage sale. And I, I, I thought about that. This is the first thing I thought of, and I told my wife, and she just started laughing. She thought that was hilarious. And in all honesty, it's something that I might actually do. But um, to say the least, yeah, I, I gave myself my own little severance package, even though they technically give those to you whenever... Um, you get fired or you get relieved of your your duties but still I was like I'm gonna help myself to these footballs so the GM said I could help myself and I took that and literally ran with it but anyway so I had to share that little funny story with y'all I, I, I got I got a chuckle out of that I got a crack out of that that was funny oh man and um, also um, I got a call from from my new job that I'm starting, I got a call from the uh, hu human resources, and they um, pretty much were telling me that uh, Monday is my orientation, that I can expect to be there all day long, and you know, just just everything that I already knew. It's not my first rodeo again with this. <laughs> it's not my first rodeo, so I um, I know what to expect. Like she, she was like talking to me like it was like a scary story. This human resource lady, she's like, "You will be here at 8 a.m." And I'm like, "I know, I know that I'm gonna be here at 8 a.m. It's no big deal." She's like, "And you can expect to be here all day long until four at least." And I was like, "Eight to four? That doesn't sound like my last job at all." And then she was like, "And you will have to dress nicely." Nah, that's not even the voice that she used, but I, I just thought that was kind of funny uh, because it was just kind of like she was just the way that she was talking to me. But I'm just like, I get it. It's fun. So to the human resources lady, if, if they're watching this, uh, I'm just I'm just having a good time at somebody's expense, and I apologize. I just thought that was funny. Um, but it's just and then she was like. She was like, uh, you will need your car insurance forms as well as your social security number and driver's license. I know it sounds a little scary, but it's not too bad. And I was like, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> so again, I just had to just had to inform you guys of that little gym. That was hilarious. 
to, to say the least. Okay, we might hit one more bump here, so you guys might see my crotch one more time. Nope, we're good. Pulling into my driveway in my own car. This is fantastic. I love it. Love being back in my car. And so, honestly, I'm excited for this new chapter. I'm excited for this this new job and the uh, everything that it entails. Yeah, I'm really thirsty. Oh, by the way, if you want to know what my favorite vitamin water flavor is, it's the kiwi strawberry. So there you go. If you ever want to send me like a, I don't know, a care package or like a, you know, fan mail or something, send me like a six pack of these and I will be your best friend until the end of time. Uh, real funny story about these though is, um, I think it was my sophomore year in high school and that's when uh, Obama got elected into office. And that's when Michelle Obama did the uh, the school lunch program. And uh, so when that happened, when she did the school lunch program, they took out all of the soda machines. So no more Cokes, no more Dr. Peppers, no, no Sprite, nothing. And um, it got replaced with obviously just, just bottles of water, um, bottles of water, fruit juices and then vitamin waters and i never had a vitamin water before so i was like you know what i don't really like cokes that much anyway i don't really enjoy them as much as i used to it was getting to the point where i was drinking so many dr peppers that my my veins were just throbbing in my arms and in my legs and on my neck and i was like i gotta stop drinking sodas or i'm gonna have like a heart attack at like 30. so i was like i gotta stop so i quit drinking sodas cold turkey my sophomore year in high school and um from that point on like i have, I have a coat i have a soda on occasion uh like i said i do uh for mother's day and her birthday i will be having a pepsi for grandma christy and uh, that that's for sure and um i gotta have a dr pepper at some point for uh my mother-in-law who i've never had the opportunity to meet but i mean my wife just obviously speaks highly of her and Dr. Pepper was her drink of choice. So maybe, you know, for her birthday or unfortunately her death anniversary, I could, you know, have a Dr. Pepper in, in remembrance of her, even though I never got a chance to meet her. It's still a nice gesture, I think, on my part. Um, and then my Nana, her favorite thing to drink was uh, hazelnut coffee. So any chance I get to drink hazelnut coffee, I just lift the cup up and say, here's to you, Nana, love you. I love you the mostest. That's where I love you the mostest came from, if anybody cares about that little backstory. Uh, Nana, my great-grandmother that passed away in 2011, unfortunately, anytime that she would leave somebody, my family has over 100 plus people on my, my dad's side of the family. And my Nana would always tell everybody, bye love you the mostest so it's a tribute to her that's why i say at the end of my videos love y'all the mostest call up love loves y'all the mostest is what i say that's where i got it from is my nana so there you go a little little backstory little trivia for you a little factoid footnote whatever you want to call it and then um anyway so they got rid of the coke machines and i started drinking vitamin water and this is the first one that i tried because it was literally just a machine full of the kiwi strawberry and I was like, okay, what's the worst that could happen? It's only a dollar. They were about this big. Actually, they were about like that big. I was like, okay. That is freaking awesome. Like, that was my first reaction. I was like, this stuff is good. So I started drinking vitamin water. And uh, straw, straw, uh, kiwi strawberry was the gateway drug because it led to dragon fruit. Then it led to orange orange. And then it led to fruit punch. And then it led to the uh, triple X. And before you know it, I know it, I was hooked. And uh, so the rest, obviously, is history. So there's that little fun trivia for you. And uh, I haven't had a chance to go look at the poll that I posted earlier today, so I will definitely be looking at that uh, when I get out of here. And uh, all right, guys, all that being said, thank you all so much for, I'm at three, last time I saw I was at 3,131 subscribers. And I started this thing at 28... 49 so this is a successful um a successful june vlog challenge it's the best one that i've done so far in my opinion and i've really enjoyed talking to you guys i've really enjoyed discussing with you guys and i didn't get a chance to read your questions like i do on my back patio but uh definitely 
uh, tomorrow I will be back at it because I got to do one pretty early tomorrow because I'm going to a uh, wedding uh, party. Um, my friend Greg and uh, his wife, now wife, Megan, shout out to Greg and Megan, uh, had a very quaint, uh, intimate ceremony in Vegas and they only invited a handful of people and uh, I was not one of them. Like, Dang it. I was looking for an excuse to go to Vegas. Uh, but they got had a little ceremony a few months ago. And then they said that we're going to get married in Vegas. But in June, we're going to have the party. And all the family and the friends can come out and party and hang out. And So it's like a Hawaiian luau theme. So uh, Chris is my date. Because uh, my wife and Chris's girlfriend actually have plans are going to hang out and stuff like that so Chris and I are going to go dressed up and to the nines in our Hawaiian gear so anyway guys like I said I was trying to get out of here thank you all so much once again for dropping by please subscribe if you haven't already please like this video please comment any questions you want me to answer I will definitely get to those tomorrow and uh, of course just have a great weekend and you guys just just keep being awesome keep being y'all you guys are the best subscribers the best supporters on YouTube Thank y'all so much once again for dropping by. And always remember my little piglets, let's call them pork chop. Loves y'all the most. Y'all take it easy, guys, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Go side poodles. Bye, guys.